So we're going to go ahead and now take this off. And just, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the brake caliper on. Uh, that's optional. You don't have to take it off. It might make things easier when you're putting it back in. Taking it off would be easy. Taking the wheel off with the, with the brake caliper on is fine. Putting it back in might be a challenge because you have to line up your disc and get it right in between the brake pads that are there. Uh, but if you wanted to take it off, I mean, you can see there's, there's nothing stopping you from screw, unscrewing this and this and then just let it hang off to the side. I mean, that would take what, all but maybe 30 seconds to take that off, take that off, and then just let it hang there. And then once you put the tire on, you can put the brake caliper back on by you know screwing those back in. I'm just gonna leave it there. I mean, I think I could line up the tire, you know, okay, in between the brake pads, so I shouldn't have much of a problem. But we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt. Or not remove it, but we're just gonna loosen it up. do some of it by hand all right it has a washer all right I think that's that's been all we need you know this makes it easy to put back on when we're done now we're gonna get to this other side I gotta try to do this one-handed there we go. Gotcha. Looks like looks like I can do I can do the rest with my fingers. Yeah. Again, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm just gonna loosen it to where it becomes easy to put on. I have enough space to line it up when I put it back on. The only tricky part is, is when you take the tire off and you, and you pull it out of the, uh, the socket right there, uh, you just have to manipulate the chain on, uh, once, once you lift it up, once you lift the tire up high enough, I'm gonna have to put the, you know, the camera on a mount for it because I'm gonna need two hands. But once you lift the tire out, you might also have to take another hand and make sure you manipulate the chain around everything so you can pull it straight out. Um, but we're on the pretty much the last step here to remove the tire. So, one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to remove it. Just pull it, try to pull it straight out. One end is coming out pretty easy. Bit of a hang up on this side a little bit. It's being a little stubborn, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna keep tapping right here with the hammer, just on the middle bolt, nothing else, just to kinda of force it out a little bit. And the reason why you wanna tap the, uh, the bolt upward is because it is seated in there pretty good, and you see how it's got that notch on that this back end right here? That is to make sure it goes in one way and goes out one way, so it's very tight. As you can see, it's almost out. It's almost out, but I just go ahead and keep tapping. You can see it's already lifted out from there. I'm gonna keep tapping it with the hammer. All right, so it looks like I got it out and I should be able to lift it up and out of the way. 
just gotta clear it. Like I say, just gotta manipulate the chain around the, the cord, power cord. And there you go. We have the tire removed. And here is the rear hub. So now I can get access to the fender. The fender has a screw right there, which I needed to get to. So I'm going to take this off, unscrew that, and put the replacement on. All right, now one second, I'm going to go ahead and do that to make a shorter video, and then we'll put the tire back on on the video. Thank <laughs> you.